Hello and welcome to this AE Basics tutorial where we're continuing to look at the animation options that we have in the timeline to change our text. Now we've already looked at quite a few of them and now we're going to look at a few more to do with colour. So if I click the animate button and just add the first one which is fill colour and go to RGB you can see that I have the option to be able to animate the colour of the actual text itself. I'm going to choose my arrow tool. We can't animate it over here in the character panel but we can animate it down here in the timeline. So if I click the stopwatch and I go forward one second and I change this say to a bright green you'll get the idea and click OK you'll see that we can change the colour between one thing and another simply by animating the fill colour. But of course we still have the option to go to the range selector. If you open up the range selector you can choose items that are going to be inside or affected have this colour fill affected and bits that aren't so I can pull through say the start and you'll see that the colour changes as it comes outside of the range selector. Now notice by the way that as the range selector is going through the change isn't instantaneous it's gradual which isn't sometimes what you want that can be changed with some of the advanced options but we're not going to look at those at the moment we'll look at those a bit later on. So not only can you animate the fill colour you can also change how much of it is affected by the use of the range selector from the beginning to the end and of course with the offset as you require. So what else have we got in this? I'm going to just delete the fill colour and we're going to go to add so I've got a range selector with nothing in it at the moment but I'm going to add to this range selector so select the range selector and go add properties go back to fill colour and you'll see that I can change a number of other things. Now Saturation and brightness are very obvious, as is opacity. So saturation, we can make the colour fully saturated or desaturated, so we can go from a very bland look to a full overblown look. And the brightness, sometimes the brightness is, I think, a little bit clunky. You can't really have very fine control, but it's there to change things. And opacity is going to make the text fade in and fade out. But why RGB and hue? Well, if I choose hue, it's kind of like a hue wheel. So it takes colour in terms of 360 degrees so at the top it's red and it goes all the way around well at the moment the top is the original color and when you start to pull this second figure here you'll see that sort of in a step change way the color changes so if you want the color to sort of rotate around the color wheel you can animate the fill of hue so if we go to the beginning and click stopwatch and go to the three seconds and say do three complete rotations just click on the zero there and make it three and enter then hit the space bar, go back to the beginning, hit the space bar, you'll see that the colour kind of flashes through as it goes through. And, of course, we can choose how much of that is affected by changing the range selector. And again, you can see you've got a real problem with all sorts of funny colours coming in there. You see we've got a cyan as it goes to purple. And again, as I say, we can change that in the advanced settings for this range selector, which is down here, which, which we can see at another point. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the fill hue, and in fact I'm going to delete it, we don't really need that. And I'm going to add, just for example, the opacity, so that we can change the opacity of the fill. Because what we want to move on to next is some of the stroke options. Now, to be able to look at these stroke options under this, this animator, so if I go to add, I look at the stroke options, I've got to have a stroke. So I want to add a stroke, I can double click my layer and then go to the stroke options, take the picker and I'm going to pick white, so I've just got a white stroke, just the three pixels around my text. Great. So now I can go to my animator one and I can go to add, property and we're at stroke and you'll see that you've got exactly the same things that we had before. So we can animate the colour, we can animate the hue, the saturation, brightness and the opacity of the stroke. So if I choose the RGB I now have the option to be able to animate both the opacity of the fill, which I can turn up and down to reveal more or less of just stroke. And of course if I want to, I can even go to add properties, stroke color, opacity, and I can play with the opacity of the stroke as well as the opacity of the fill. And of course, as ever, all of this can be changed what is affected can be changed by how you play with the range selector so that things pop on and pop off more or less as you create them. So you can get some great text looks 
that draw on or emphasize themselves just by subtly changing color as you pull through. So those are the fill and the stroke options. Um, if we go to add, you'll see that there's one other there, which is brilliant, we can animate the stroke width. Simple as that, you can click on there, there's stroke width, and you can make it smaller or bigger. So you can take it down to zero or take it up higher so that we have the option to animate items that we simply can't animate in the character panel. In the next tutorial, we're going to finish off by looking at these options down here, from tracking down to blur, and we can see all the different options that we have to make our text really interesting as we use it on screen. My name's Andrew Davis, and thank you for watching.